morning, everyone. Another day, another vlog. Am I using a lot? It's a very natural concealer, so I can't really overdo it. This is the Kosas. I don't know what this is called, but I think they only have one concealer. I love this brand. I've been using their stuff for like a year now. I think the first product I ever started using was this one. This is the Kosas Tinted Face Oil. I have it in the shade number four. This is in number four as well. And I just really like their stuff. Natural and clean. I never break out from using any of their stuff and I feel like it doesn't get cakier and cakier throughout the day like some makeup can. I've been getting ready lightly every day for years now actually because I work from home. I still like to get ready because I feel like it creates a bit of a routine for me and I don't feel so like bummy all day long because that can actually really affect your work mode um, but my skin has improved a lot it has come a long long way guys this is my skincare routine for the last month I think this cleanser absolutely amazing it makes my skin feel so clean but not dry at all it smells like those Asian cleansers and then I use this milk milky tonic this one has jojoba milk and oat. Love this, makes my skin feel so soft. And then I use the Milky Serum. This is awesome too, I actually just finished this entire bottle. This is not drugstore, but this line, they do create a lotion. But I've been using this one since I have it. This is the Crave Beauty Oat So Simple Water Cream. I really like watery, kind of consistency for my moisturizer. I don't like it when it's like thick and creamy because I feel like it's just a thick layer over my skin. So that's it. That's all I've been using on my skin these days. And I really think it's using less products. And on top of that, using products that are hydrating because I think there's been this myth for years we've been told if you have acne prone skin you need to use like salicylic acid and like benzoyl peroxide and all of those things that can be very very drying and I would break out even more. Now that I've really simplified it and use only hydrating things that are light, my skin has just been living. Look at this. I couldn't be happier so I wanted to share this with you guys and hopefully it helps your skin as well. And everything is from the drugstore so it's pretty affordable. You guys, Wa figured it out. He found a really really good cheese but it's vegan cheese <laughs> oh it, it toasted mm -hmm. it's this one the Daya style slices give it a try hey <laughs> I got delivery he just made me one too whoa she toasty and she bronzy on this side wow mm-hmm we've been really loving sandwiches I never liked sandwiches in my life but in the last year I've been a changed woman And it's melty, like how? So last night, I had a really interesting dream of Whaley. <laughs> First, can we talk about your look? <laughs> it's been two years. <laughs> Here, show them. It's been two years. I haven't shaved in like two years. <laughs> oh, that's all you got? Fit. That's kind of sad. <laughs> Asian men don't get puberty. <laughs> puberty doesn't hit us. Our parents do. All right, what was your Anyways, dream? Anyways, um, my dream that you was being a <laughs> Long story short, I guess she was like on this dating site. She created a profile herself. Dating site. I found me a dude. Yes, and then apparently in this website you had to put like your real information, like your real address, your real name. Social whatever. security. <laughs> this dude that she met exposed all her info. And then she was worried that like all her info was like all over the internet. But then we were at a restaurant and there were like in potentially <laughs> in K-Town. And there was potentially a lot of viewers. So then I was just like acting like, oh, it's cool, you know, because, you know, there were a lot of people watching. So then I was like, oh, it's cool, you know, it's, it's whatever. So what if they know your address, you know? So what if they know your real name? <laughs> and then, and then inside though, in the dream, I was like, ooh, you about to get it when we get home. <laughs> no, but. So now um, you finally know what it feels like to dream about someone cheating on you. I used to get so mad at you. And I you'd know. be like, why are you mad at me? Why were you mad? I'm, I'm not mad at you, bro. I'm just saying <laughs> oh. that the, you didn't even cheat. So only I was petty. You were just. <laughs> That he would cheat on me and I would wake up so mad at him and I wouldn't talk to him. It, it would be like real, like she would actually be mad at me. And then we would fight over it because he's like, it was a dream. At first, I was like, oh, she's cute, whatever. I was like, babe, I didn't cheat on you. But then it kept happening. I was like, no, you're being stupid. You're being so stupid for being mad at me for something I didn't even do that was in your head. And I was like, but you did. <laughs> we would actually used to fight over that. <laughs> We were, we were so immature. Oh, we. 
It's just me. Speaking of uh, old memories, you know there's this tag going around. Can you fix the camera? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. You know how there's like this tag going around because people are just bored out of their minds on Instagram? Let me so, see. Like, so I couldn't find the first one, you guys, but I have to show you this. Why? <laughs> I'm just... Hey. I'm really confused. Young Whaley over here serving them looks. Like... <laughs> I remember feeling like, oh my god, I'm so cute today. <laughs> we were at Six Flags and I was in my bathing suit, my I was, bathing I was in a white feeder. What? <laughs> What's I doing? <laughs> we have advanced now. We don't call them, we, we call them white tank tops. Okay, okay? white We've tank tops. We've grown top. as a generation. You what? always wore this white tank top like it was your shirt. <laughs> I had like a 10 pack of those, all right? <laughs> Put it in the loom. Like, you guys, wall looks, you look the same. No, I don't. You look, but what? You look the same. <laughs> Oh, look at how I, I, I unbuttoned the front of my shorts to show my bikini bottoms. Oh, mm. she ratchet. I was thirst trapping. Uh, you caught nothing in your trap? <laughs> <laughs> uh, clearly, I got this one. <laughs> you got a grasshopper. <laughs> uh, oh, no, this was us last night. <laughs> Why do you take pictures of me while I'm sleeping? <laughs> this should be illegal. What the? Wait, hold on, hold on. Steady, steady. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. This was the same day, but this was before we went on the water ride. Mm -hmm. So I looked a little more presentable because my hair was cute. You had a lot of good chubs times. in your cheeks. I know, good times. I just, why, do I, look, why do I look older? I, a little. I definitely no, you younger. just look more ratchet. You don't look older. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I look so different after I shave. I really don't know what to do with my hair. Can I show oh. them some suggestions? The middle split. <laughs> <laughs> Snip this pony. Uh-huh. I would like that. And then just leave. Just leave <laughs> that right there. We could just snip this and then leave. And it. leave the sides? Yeah. Leave both sides. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Hold on, he caught me. My, dad. <laughs> <laughs> My mom was like, he hasn't been able to get a haircut. I know, I feel him. We're gonna get a little hair. Hairstyle today. I'm gonna try to give her a middle split. Oh man, you have some. Damn, this comb doesn't even brush through her hair. Wow, so pretty. Wow, money, beautiful girl. Wow. <laughs> so pretty, money. Michi, can't avoid it. Come. Michi, come. <laughs> this doesn't even do anything to her. <laughs> Michi. Come, come. Wow, so pretty. Such a pretty girl. <laughs> girl. Her, her fur is so dense, I can stick it in there. Then <laughs> <laughs> buy me. Here. <laughs> Call her. Let's... Michi. Michi, go to mom. Michi. Michi, go to mom. <laughs> wow, it's safe. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Is that a fish? Is that a fish that we see? Take it. I'm gonna take it. Mm. <gasps> okay, Navi, you ready? You ready? Okay, okay. 
it's pretty rainy all week this week and we're not gonna be walking the dogs much so i'm trying to find things for them to entertain themselves um i got this game for money i don't know if you guys remember this but i got this on amazon a while back um it's from the brand hound and it's basically just a game where you fill it with <clears throat> excuse me you fill it with treats and they just have to like figure out how to open it and retrieve the treat Okay, money, go get it. I'm gonna buy your sticky pad. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you smart girl. Good yeah, girl. good girl. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna hold it for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, they wanna play the game too. They don't know how. Oh, okay. Wow, good wow. girl! Good girl! She okay, next them one. I, I know, wow! <laughs> Smart. She them. This usually takes, keeps her busy for a little good bit. Good girl! girl. Oh! <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> and she solved the puzzle! She spent probably less than two minutes. She's gotten really good at this game. Okay! You ready to play this game? I hope she's better at it this time. Okay. <laughs> you have to open it. <laughs> I don't think she got anything. She probably got the one that I opened. All right, now we're gonna let you try. You don't understand this game either, but we'll try. Go get it. Okay, go get it. What's that? Nami, what's that? What's that? <gasps> oh, what's that? Oh, okay. Open it. <laughs> You guys, you don't understand? See, like that. It's right there. Oh, is that snack? I didn't get the snack. Think about it. You guys are very polite. I appreciate it. For dinner, I had a peanut butter jelly sandwich <laughs> with um, the Annie's cheese and snack. Wanna go for a walk? Yeah. Honey, wanna go for a walk? It's sunny today. Just came back from my walk and I've been listening to um, this book lately. It's called You Are a Badass, How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life. And I rarely share um, these things with you guys. And I don't really read, I'm not really a reader, but I do like listening to, to books and um, I'm using Audible. Um, for me, I am like 
an overthinker like i overthink everything and if that's something that you're dealing with i feel like this is an awesome book so something in the walk earlier really irritated me and then this part played and i thought it was really interesting there were some packages that were left at our house that wasn't for our home and it was for like a couple streets down so then i thought you know i'll be nice and bring it over there to the person so then as i was going there as i'm walking up to the house there were these packages that were dropped off at my house and i just thought i'll come by and give it to you guys and like it was just like the way that he acted was kind of just like i don't know how to explain it like it was very uninviting i feel like and i'm like if somebody brought something over that got delivered to their house instead of mine i would feel so grateful for that so i thought that was really interesting so it kind of like got me irritated i was like wow how ungrateful is this person but then that part played and then i'm like okay like there is really no point on like holding on to this feeling if you want to be free you have to let it go if you're feeling hurt or resentful towards some a-hole you don't care about free yourself and let it go instead of stewing on it or getting revenge by sending them a box of rats in the mail why do you care if they understand how lame they are or not what good does that do you and don't pretend it's because you want them to become a better person you could care less you want retribution or an apology or to be acknowledged as right get over it let it go the longer you stay attached to being vindicated the longer they hang around in your consciousness stinking up your life anyways i just thought it was so interesting so if you guys want like a good book right now um this is a really good one i think you're tired was it a good walk let's see how long did we walk for today 29 minutes not bad considering that the past four days have been raining so hard so we haven't really gotten a chance to walk them um so yeah we walked them for almost 30 minutes today and i miss camping so much so i put this sleeping pad here and a sleeping bag so that we could just chill on the ground because i'm just tired of sitting on the couch we've been sitting on the couch for like two weeks now thought this would be a nice change you want food Finally a sunny day. I think today is probably the only sunny day of the week. So we thought we'd come out today. We wanted to drop off our donation to the dog shelter. So we're working with Open Farm every month. They are amazing, by the way, if you guys haven't heard of them yet. They make pet food. They have dog food, cat food, and they're just an amazing company. They have donated so many meals to shelters and now they're working with us so that every month they'll provide us with the food and we can take it to a shelter of our choice. So today we are at the San Gabriel Valley Humane Society and we're gonna drop off two big bags of food thanks to them. We have a beef recipe and a chicken recipe. Recipe, I believe they also have a lot of dog treats bone broth they also have supplements all sorts of good stuff and we love giving our dogs their treats and bone broth so another really cool thing about them is that they are the first pet food company to create a recycling program they do it through a company called TerraCycle so if you are a open farm user all you have to do is make an account register on TerraCycle I'll also leave the link below once you have your account just make sure you're saving all of your bags so that they can be recycled you can print a free label and you can ship it off whenever you're done with the bags and then those bags can be upcycled into like park benches and things like that at the dog park which I think is so awesome another thing to add on to their recycling efforts you're able to collect points so every single time that you recycle a bag you're collecting points and then these points turn into dollars that you can then donate to any charity of your choice so they're just amazing we love them and we're gonna just drop off the food we're not able to go inside the shelter obviously so I called them ahead of time and they said we could just drop it off on the front doorstep and it's a glass window so they'll see it and yeah here's the beef recipe 
their packaging is so cute too. So another cool thing, Open Farm, they are humanely and sustainably sourced, 100% um, traceable ingredients, which is really cool. So yeah, this is the beef recipe and then they have a lot of new recipes now compared to when we first started using them. Um, so this is the harvest chicken and ancient grains recipe. So these are the two that we'll be donating to the animals here. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll just leave this here. And we also had some toys and some clothes for the dogs. So hopefully they enjoy these. Hi, how can I help you today? Hi, um, can I please have two large jasmine milk tea with boba? Okay. I feel like they're the only boba shop open around here or I don't know. I think a lot of people are here because they have a drive through so you don't have to physically go in. Um, we've waited, I think, 30 minutes now. <laughs> but I mean, hey, we got nothing else to do if we went home. So I'm really craving a good drink. I've just been drinking water at home. So it's been very boring. Yeah, I didn't notice this before, but my bangs on this side are thicker than this side. <laughs> So, I need to, maybe when I get home, I can try to thin it out or something. Cause they're really annoying. They keep kind of like going in my eye and it's just really chunky. I like how this side looks cause it's just thin, it's wispy, it's not heavy or anything, but this side is just very thick. Yes. Okay. Someone told us that just as an extra safety precaution, we should be wiping everything. Like even stuff that we bought from the grocery store whenever we get home. So I've even been doing this with like our packages. <laughs> we would open our packages outside and um, we won't bring any of the packages into the house. We just remove everything that's inside of the box and then we completely disinfect everything. Okay guys, so for weeks now, um, you guys have been telling me to play Animal Crossing. And I have no idea about like video games or like, is this considered a video game? Yeah. Anyways, I don't know anything about games. I was never allowed to play games growing up. My mom always said, it's a boys thing, so girls can't play. Mm -hmm. I started researching Animal Crossing because so many of you guys keep telling me to get it. and. It just, it's so cute that I couldn't say no. So I wanted to get one, but they were sold out everywhere. Um, these Nintendo Switches, this is the light um, in the yellow color and they were sold out everywhere. And I thought, okay, well, I'm not gonna be able to get one. And then Wa ends up ordering one for me and it arrived so much earlier than expected. The ship out date was supposed to be the 28th, but we received it in like four or five days. So I've been hooked since yesterday. It's such a fun game and I think it's fun because it's really cute and also given the circumstances right now, this makes you feel like you're just on vacation or like on this little island and you're just in like la la land. So I think that's what's really fun about it. It's also just really chill. Like the game's on right now but I don't have to be like watching it or worried about I'm gonna get killed. It's literally just a chill game where you're on your island, you're helping the community, you're building your home, and you're fishing and catching bugs along the way. Hold on, let me get out of this. Okay, so this is me. This is my little house that I paid for. Just got it delivered today. And yeah, this is my island. It's not really pretty yet because I just started the game. But yeah, as you can see over here, we can go fishing. Um, let me show you my outfit, actually. I think my outfit's really cute. So, yeah. Near, near, near. There we go. Look at my little outfit with my little boots and my camping hat. I also planted these flowers out here. Yeah, it's been really fun. It's been very entertaining for me. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Okay. How does that make you feel? You want to learn from her, huh? Okay, back to my game. So, yeah, that's me! And I'm still learning about the game. I read somewhere that, like, your friends can visit you or stuff like that, but so far I don't really have friends that play this game. Sandra just got it, so I'm waiting for her 
to like get started with this game and then we can play together or like see each other. Okay, I'm gonna catch this balloon, so talk to you guys later. <laughs> I'm not really sure what this means, but we think it's her like submissing to Michi and trying to be on her good side, I don't know. She never does this with money. And it's because, hey, oh, what, wait. Why were you showing your teeth? No. Hmm, so maybe she's not submissing to Michi. What does that mean? Michi will cancel you. She will end you, so don't try. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, this is awkward. What's happening here? Michi has not beat Navi up in a really long time. I know that sounds sad, but like, Michi be checking her. And it hasn't happened in a long time, so hopefully she doesn't do it to her. Okay, Navi, what, what's happening? Wait, are you hurt? Oh, okay. You're letting her be boss, huh? Oh. Okay. Alright, well. Yeah, you probably shouldn't be showing your teeth. That's not very nice. That's not nice, okay? That's your sister. You don't do that. Making dinner. <laughs> Um, we got this honey walnut shrimp from Trader Joe's. It's my first time trying it. It looks pretty legit, so I have high hopes. It's like a whole kit. It already has the sauce. Wong's making the sauce. And the shrimps are already breaded. So I'm just frying it up in this non-stick pan. Okay, I think I did a pretty good job at frying it. And now we're just gonna. I think I'm just gonna put in half the sauce. Actually, yeah, I might as well just use all of it. Okay. Okay! I hope it's good. It looks pretty good. Well, I just stir fried some bok choy with uh, salt and uh, fish sauce. So I feel like that's kind of what's happening to my voice these days because I'm hardly talking to people. And you know when you first wake up in the morning and that like first breath that you take and everything is just raspy and dry? That's how my voice has been feeling and I just don't even want to talk because my voice is always just like Cracked. Like your sex life, ha! Huh? <laughs> mm. Okay. This is okay. Well, considering oh. that it's packaged and you just pretty much just heat it up, not bad. But mm. comparing to like the Chinese one, this is just okay. Why does it taste like tangerines? Yeah, the sauce is a little mm -hmm. too. Too sour? Mm-hmm. It's okay. <laughs> Actually, it kind of tastes like mango. <laughs> We've just been playing video games, so I feel delusional and crazy. What? Okay. Never. 